Hey, what's up? It's Azolai. So today we're going to examine how the hell to use scoped assault rifles. So the recon sight ARs, hybrid, morph, cog, long shot, whichever sight you prefer. Now you might say, whoa, 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 Azolai, are you an idiot? Why should I use a scoped AR long range when I can just use a Magnum, BR, Carbine, or DMR? And I would agree, but I would say that a scope assault rifle is actually a 3-in-1 package for short, mid, and long range encounters and if you master it, you will absolutely dominate at all ranges. Now wait just a minute bro, I'm not saying that you should use scope assault rifles over BRs, DMRs, carbines, or other semi-automatic weapons. I'm simply going to give you some data, advice, and tips that should help you improve your overall AR skills so you can outgun flat foots on the battlefield. What the fuck is a flat foot? People that don't stray for jump, flat foots. Anyways, this was a quick match, but as you can see, I got top spot on my team and 75% of my kills were with the AR. So let's do some tests. Now this is a very bad technique for long range AR use. Standing and shooting full auto causes strong reticle bloom, recoil, and poor accuracy. However, if you crouch and burst fire, reticle bloom and recoil are minimized and the result is very good AR accuracy. And speaking of accuracy, how about we do some accuracy tests at 65 meters with a long shot AR. First up, we have standing full auto fire. Next, we have 3-4 round burst fire. And finally, we have the single round fire mode. And we can compare the accuracies of full auto, burst, and single round fire. And as you can see, burst firing is actually more accurate at long range. And single round fire is the most accurate. So now we're going to repeat the same test for full auto fire, 3-4 round burst fire, and single round fire. Only this time we're going to do it while crouched and see if that has any effect on your accuracy at long range. Alrighty then, so if we compare the standing accuracies versus crouched accuracies of the full auto, 3-4 round bursts, and single round fire modes, we see that crouching actually makes them more accurate. Although I'd say crouching has no effect on the single round fire mode because it's accurate in of itself. And for reference, we can compare the AR's bullet spread of the full auto, 3-4 round bursts, and single round fire modes to an actual Spartan. And that shows that full auto is good at close range, burst fire is good at mid range, and single round fire is good at long ranges. But now we're going to look at some times to kill and we know that an AR has an ideal TTK of 1.24 seconds with the headshot bonus and we also know that a BR has an ideal TTK of 1.32 seconds, so slightly slower. And now that we have these ideal TTKs as references, let's see how the different fire mode TTKs of a long shot AR compare. Anyway, now I want to get into some advice, tips, and gameplay. So something good to do that many people overlook is to use cover with scoped ARs. So stand or crouch by walls, doors, rocks, or other obstructions to block your Spartan's hitbox from enemy fire. Doing this will allow you to focus on your long range aim and make it more difficult for enemy players to find you. And if they do find you, it'll be very difficult for them to actually hit you. It's obvious, but good for long range AR combat. I would also like to stress that the AR is not a perfect weapon and there are going to be combat situations where it is absolutely necessary to switch to your Magnum or BR. And remember, we're not flatfoots, we strafe. Strafing is a key defensive tactic to avoid enemy fire and give you an advantage in combat. Just like it is important when wielding a semi-automatic weapon, strafing is crucial for automatics as well. However, if you are using a long range assault rifle and nobody is shooting you, then just focus on your fire mode and your aim. Only start strafing if somebody starts shooting at you. That way you can focus on your aim and get a faster time to kill. 
Also, don't expect to outgun decent players that have BRs or DMRs. These semi-automatics are precision weapons that have better red reticle ranges and aim assist at long range, so naturally the assault rifle is at a disadvantage. But trust me, if you master the assault rifle at long range, then you can definitely kick some semi-automatic ass. So in summary, at short range go full auto or do some bursts, at medium range do some full auto but mostly bursts, and at long range do burst fire or single round fire. And remember to crouch behind cover and go for headshots after you break the Spartan shield. And don't be a flat foot and strafe when you are being shot at. Okay, so we're done. I basically outlined everything you need to know to master scoped assault rifles. Now I'm just gonna leave you with some gameplay where I apply everything I showed you. So I would recommend paying attention to the way I aim, the fire mode that I'm using when I switch weapons, and my movement. So enjoy, and as always, until next time, guys.